Let's move on to a Facebook query next. Gauri Khanna says that her friend took a home loan and repaid 20 to 24 months worth of EMIs. He recently passed away in an accident. Now she wants to know what procedure should be followed to repay the loan in this case. Okay, so you know there are two aspects to closure of such a loan. So one is repayment. Now as far as the housing finance company or the lender for that matter is concerned, they are interested in receiving the money. Technically, they want the money to come from the borrower, but if the borrower for whatever reason is not available, somebody who is the legal heir of the borrower can come and make the payment, which is fine, absolutely acceptable. So to that extent, the loan will get closed. The liability on the family will therefore not accrue any further. So that's the simple part. What is the not so simple part is the fact that you will have to now transfer this property into your name because once you pay off the loan, the next thing that you want to do is to get the title deeds back because in India, most of the times we take a loan by deposit of title deeds, which is known as the equitable mortgage. That's what we are doing. But then they will not give you the deed because who are you? You are the legal heir, but where does it say on paper that you are the legal heir? So therefore, the process for you to be empowered to collect your title deeds might be actually a long and elaborate process. So you may have to go through the succession route or uh, if there is a will, then maybe the probate route and um, you know, all those things need to be then actioned. You will have to be empowered that now you are the legal heir and there is no objection to the fact that the property can move to you. The title deeds could be then given to you and then you go ahead you know, to Karthik, uh, proceed Gauri with the transfer. Very clearly, in her question, Gauri very clearly says that uh, her, this was her friend who passed away. That's right. So uh, chances are that Gauri is not the legal heir over here. Oh, yes, and absolutely. there would be somebody absolutely. else who is the legal heir. Yes, yes. In that case, what does Gauri do? No, so Gauri will have to exactly take our advice and give it to the legal heir because that's exactly what the legal heir will have to do. Hmm. Now, if there is no will, then you have to go through a different process, which is that of a succession certificate. And if there is a will, then the legal heirs will have to then, you know, go to the executor and ask the person who's the executor to go ahead and start the executorship process or the execution process for actually acquiring this property and then getting it transferred into their name. So that is going to be a bit of a process. But see, in the meanwhile, these days we live in the world of technology. So if you really want your deed, your deed is also available on, um, you know, if it's registered recently, then it's pretty much available inter on the internet. You can just put in your deed number and you can download a copy. So it's as easy as that. So that, but then to get your original title deeds, which have a lot of value if you want to ever sell your flat, you need to have this title. You need to have the entries to be done in the sub-registrar's office that you are now the owner and you are the, now the legal heir. So therefore, so that you don't have a problem in selling the flat for the legal heir, you will have to follow a certain procedure. As far as the housing finance company is there, just go and give them a check. They'll be very happy to close the loan. Right. So essentially what you need to do is uh, A, repay that loan and B, uh, go approach a lawyer and they will help you out with, you know, how to get uh, the title deeds transferred uh, to the name of the legal heir. Uh, very quickly, Karthik, before we move on. Right. Now, uh, a lot of times when, uh, you know, we go to buy, we go to uh, take a home loan from a bank or a housing finance company, uh, the advice uh, that is given to a customer is that you should take, you should ideally be taking an insurance alongside the home loan. Correct. Which is typically for uh, situations like this. Absolutely. That, you know, what if the person who's been paying off the home loan passes away for what, uh, you know, uh, for some reason, then what happens? Uh, so, uh, what would you advise? Should customers go for that insurance as well or is there any other instrument that they could probably take to hedge against risk? Yeah, I mean, insurance is one of the best things that you can do because it comes at a very small uh, sort of a cost. The premium is really small. Now, very often, uh, most of the lenders will insist that you buy some sort of a mortgage insurance. Maybe they're getting a little bit incentive also by selling you that, but which is fantastic because you see, they are covering their liability. I mean, what we have to understand is no lender is ever interested in going through the process of taking your flat away. It's a very painful process. They have to go through a lot of legal procedures to take the flat, auction it, sell it, and then retrieve the money. They don't want to do that. They want a simpler process like all of us do. So therefore, they insist that you should have that insurance. And see, from our own personal safety and the safe security of our family, we should always have this mortgage insurance. You may actually deny the lender that I don't want your insurance or your recommended insurance, I will buy a term plan on my own accord and you can always endorse it to that company. And the endorsement is again a very simple procedure which the any insurance company can help you do. So what happens is if God forbid something happened to you, the proceeds of that would go towards paying off this loan and that's what an endor endorsement really does for you. So you can buy your own term plan and then you can do as you please. You know, maybe you, you're prepaying some loan in a few years time, then you may want to cancel some part of your in, uh, term policies and maybe, you know, reduce your insurance cover, so on and so forth. 
So essentially key takeaway for all uh, borrowers out there, if you're planning to take a home loan, it makes sense to buy that insurance policy alongside your home loan. It's a small cost that you need to pay, but it will work out uh, for the good in the end. Uh, however, it is not essential that you buy the insurance that the bank is selling to you. You can opt to buy your own term policy, uh, which you know about, which you've read, you know, where you've read all the terms and conditions. You can opt to buy your own term policy and ensure that it endorses the home loan that you take so that in the event that uh, you need to use the policy, then it can be used to repay that loan. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magic bricks now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magic bricks now.